Hello everyone and a very warm welcome. In this particular demo, we will look at how you can configure notes and attachments. So let me quickly open an app. Uh, let's consider that we have a party planning app out here. This app has got forms, right? So this is the event form. The event forms have got few columns, right? But one thing that I need is also to add notes and attachments. For example, if you add bills, of the event, you need to go ahead and document them. As of now, you'd see that there is no notes and attachments for this particular form. So firstly, I need to go and enable it in my entity or the table. So how can I do that? So to do that, I need to go into Power Apps. I need to get into the solution. I need to get into the party planning solution right? This is the solution that I'm working with. And I need to enable it at the table or the entity level. Understand this table is a new term. An entity is a term that we used previously. But they are both the same. So if I interchangeably use them, don't get confused. Perfect, right? So let me go into the advanced setting options. And under the advanced setting options, what I need is customization. So what I need to do is Customize the system and I need to expand the Entities tab. Perfect. So here is the Event Entity. Let me go ahead and click on it. Let me scroll down a bit. And here I can go ahead and check the box Notes and Attachments, right? So this is what I need to enable. So I need to save this. Perfect. And let me go ahead and try to publish it. Okay. Perfect. So it's been published. Finally, it took a little bit more time than expected, but that's okay. So now that this has been published, let's go ahead and try to add the notes to the form, right? So I'll click on the events table or the entity. Then I'll click on forms. Then I'll click on the main form and I'll say maybe edit a new tab. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch to the classic view. So let me switch to the classic view. And here under insert, I can go ahead and click on timeline, right? So now that I have enabled timeline, it should be possible for me to go ahead and add notes and attachments. So I'll save it first and I'll also publish it. Now, if I go back into my Power Apps and let me actually play the party planning app, let me create a new event, right? You see that you have a timeline, but it's only visible when it's saved. So I'll say Clavin's birthday and i will just say birthday location let's say it's in mumbai and i'll save it so at this point i can go ahead and start adding notes right and i can also add attachments as well for example let's say that food order right the food will be ordered from domino's a quotation for the chicken dinner and I can just say add notes, right? So here, my friends, you see that we have successfully enabled attachments and notes and included a timeline for our entity or the table. I'll again repeat, notes and attachments are really, really useful when it comes to dynamics because it helps you track information, right? In a single location. Now in the next demo, we will work with attachments and notes and we'll see how we can go ahead and extract it. So when I say that we are going to go ahead and use the XRM fetch XML builder. This tool is very powerful and a huge shout out to the person who has gone ahead and given us this tool. We'll go ahead and use this tool and will fetch meaningful data out of our notes and attachments. Thank you.